Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Today we're going to talk about doing cups with handles on your rotary. This is a little bit more advanced video and I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up your rotary to do normal tumblers. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description and I'll go ahead and put uh, a link up top to show you how to get the basic setup done if you haven't used your rotary yet. But this video is going to assume that you've already done that and you know your way around a little bit on your rotary and you know how to set it up in Lightburn. A lot of people don't like to handle uh, cups with handles because uh, they're a little confused on how to set it up. We're going to cover on how to do that today. There's a couple of simple rules that you have to follow to make sure that you don't have a head crash. That's probably the, the scariest thing to do when you first try to do your cups is you get this in your rotary and you're just not sure where this handle is going to be and will it impact your laser tube and that's something that we just definitely don't want. My process will pretty much ensure that you shouldn't have that happen if you follow some rules. I've made a little jig that I'm going to show you how to use today. It's something real simple, but it works really well on uh, making sure that when you load your cup in your rotary, that the handle is straight down. And that's probably the first rule that we're going to follow. You always want to load your cup with a handle and ensure that it's, vert uh, that it's completely straight down. And how I do that is I take this cup, I put it in this jig that I'm going to show you. I line up the handle with one stripe or one line and then I mark the opposite side on the tumbler and that's what I use with my red dot to ensure that we're going to have the handle straight down. If it's cocked one way or the other, your designs aren't going to be opposed when we get to the layout. So let's go ahead, I'll show you uh, 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 the basics of this jig. You can make one, it's real easy, but boy, I tell you what, it really comes in handy when you have either uh, tumblers that only have one logo or cups with handles. Let's go check this jig out. Let's talk about this jig a little bit. This jig is six inches long by six inches wide. Um, I've got a scribed line that goes from this corner to this corner. Did all of this with the laser. I cut out an L bracket that I glued on top of the first piece of eighth inch Baltic birch. So you got two pieces of eighth inch Baltic birch. One eighth inch piece here and another piece here. These are roughly an inch wide. As long as this is a 90 degree um, angle, you should be okay. And I find that this six inch by six inch little jig covers almost every uh, cup that I've uh, worked with. And the way this works, the only thing that we're trying to do here is we're trying to find, we know where the center of the handle is here, but what we've got to do is we've got to mark the opposite side of the handle. And the quickest way I've found, you can eyeball it, but sometimes that's not as accurate as it could be. The best way I've found is if I take this cup and I lay it in this jig and I line up the handle so the, this line here is in the middle of the handle, like so. And then all I do is I come and I put a mark right here where this line is, I just put a little pencil mark right here, and that gives me the opposite side um, of this cup. It works really well, it's quick and easy, so I just line that up to make sure that it's in the middle, and then I come over here and I put a, a, a mark right here on this cup, and now we know when we load this in the rotary, if I line my red dot pointer up with this mark right here, we know that that handle is going to be hanging straight down. And so I've used this a lot, and it seems to work out real well. Give it a try. It's a simple and easy jig to uh, make, and uh, you'll be amazed. You'll find some other uses for it as well. Okay, this is a low roller rotary made by Rotoboss in a Thunder Nova 2460 watt laser. 
One of the things that you're going to need if you're going to start doing cups with handles is this piece right here. It's a little triangular piece. It's got a couple of eight millimeter uh, screws in there and I'll show you how to put that in. This normally will be in your kit and what this does is you can see that there's a lot of space here from the backing plate to where the edge of the rollers are. Well most cups the handles if you just loaded this uh, loaded your cup in to way this rotary is now it, it, the edge of the cup would go too deep and the uh, handle would hit these uh, drive rollers so what they've done is they've got this mug spacer that they put in and it basically pushes the edge of the mug out so you don't have a handle conflict with the uh, drive wheels of your rotary so this is real easy to install you just put it in like so you're going to take a six, uh, eight millimeter wrench and go ahead and get her installed. Okay, now that we've got the mug spacer installed in the rotary, we're going to go ahead, we've already marked our uh, tumbler and you can see there's just a little pencil mark right here and that's directly opposite of the middle of this handle here and so the only function this little mark provides is the ability to go ahead and put this cup in the rotary and use our red dot pointer and line it up with that mark and that ensures that the cup is uh, the cup handle is straight down so we're going to go ahead and we're going to load this in we're going to make sure that we don't have any kind of a conflict with the bottom part of the handle with these rollers here you can see that we are clear with our handle and our roller part here. Um, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the laser back over to its origin point and we're gonna line up this pencil mark to ensure that the handle is straight down. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the laser back in its origin point. And now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we just rotate this cup to make sure that the mark on the mug that we made from our jig is in line with our origin. And you can see that it's um, right on the money. Now, with that setup done, I know that my handle is straight down. We'll go to Lightburn and get the uh, template all laid out. And there's going to be a trick that I'm going to show you when you first do this layout. I do this on every layout still, um, uh, where you can ensure yourself that you won't have a head crash. We'll cover that here in just a minute. Let's go to Lightburn. Okay, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do a basic tumbler layout. And this is just a little bit different <clears throat> compared to what you're used to. So if I, I've measured the diameter of my cup and I come in here to rotary setup and I made sure that my steps per rotation were set up properly the object diameter of my cup is 3.37 inches and that gives me a 10.58 circumference and so what I did is I generated a rectangle that's 10.58 inches tall and then the width is your engraving uh, width of your cup, which in this particular case is 3.56 inches. And so there's my basic tumbler uh, layout. This formula seems to have worked out pretty good. Like I said, I, I've done about six different manufacturers and all of those seem to be pretty reliable from a spacing perspective. So all I do is I take the width of the handle. In this particular case, this JDS 15 ounce coffee mug has a handle width of 0.87 inches. And I add two inches to the handle width, no matter what the handle width is, which is a total of 2.87 inches. I divide that by two, which gives me uh, a, a spacing of 1.43 inches. So what that is, is I'm gonna create a rectangle. These rectangles on the top and the rectangles on the bottom is gonna be 1.43 four three inches high and you can see that if I click on this little rectangle 1.43 inches high I really don't care what the width is it's just a it's just a placeholder and so I create two of those rectangles one at the top one at the bottom 
Then to verify my math, I will take this 1.43 uh, times 2, which is 2.86. And if everything's working out right, if I measure what I've got left in the middle here, you've got 2.86. And so that will put two designs as long. And the good thing about it is this uh, tool layer that I've got designed here, it gives me about um, 2.4 inches uh, for my engraving width. And that's just about perfect for the size of cup this is. But that's how you lay it out. So I've got basically uh, 2.86 worth of a, a, a rectangle here. And then I just split that into, okay? And so really half your handle goes in this box, half your handle goes in this box. This is basically no man's land, meaning that you don't ever want to design in this because this is the buffer that you're providing in this design uh, to make sure that you don't have a head crash for your cup. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to send this over to the controller. We're going to load the file up in the controller and then we're going to frame it. And I'll show you how to, to verify that you've done your setup properly without the chance of a head crash. Let's go to the uh, laser now. Okay, so we've got our design all done. We've got our uh, cup in our rotary. We've got the, the little pencil mark lined up with our red dot to make sure that the handle is straight down. And now it's the moment of truth. And this is something that always um, worries people about, well, did I do it right? What I will tell you is, and I still do this today on every layout because I just don't want to have a head crash. Once I get everything all uh, lined up, what I'll do is I'll actually take the head of this laser and I will pull it on over here into no man's land. And I will actually set a new origin way over here. So I'm going to put push the origin button. And what that's going to do is when I pull up this file and frame it, it's going to kind of go through its process over here and then the cup is and the rotary is going to work. And if I don't have my settings proper, if this handle swings up and over or something like that, something I don't expect, I have no chance of crashing this head. So typically when I'm verifying my setup and my template, I take my laser, drive it off so it can't strike anything, set a new origin, and then go ahead and test it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this file up. And we're going to frame it just to make sure that the uh, uh, layout is right. And so I'm going to go ahead and push the frame button. And you can see it didn't work. Perfect example of why you always want to go ahead and do this. If I would have had this laser uh, over here, um, we would have had a problem, right? So um, this is a great example of why you always want to verify your template, verify what you're doing before you go ahead and uh, drive your laser head over the uh, tumbler. Let's go check it out and see what I've done. Okay, so uh, back to see what, what I've done here. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, the handle swung up and over the top. Um, and it was a good thing that I had that laser head uh, placed in a safe spot. And I can tell you what I did. Is right down here in my user origin, I forgot to select the middle uh, left origin. That's where typically I always go. So what, what that does is that is going to split that design in half. And so uh, I changed the origin from here to here like it should be. I'm going to go ahead and resend this and let's see if that corrects it. Okay, now that I've corrected my light burn file to uh, show that the origin is in the middle left instead of the upper left, um, everything's still the same. Let's go ahead and uh, hit frame and make sure that handle should come up here and stop about here and swing back down and stop about here. And what you're 
trying to pay attention to is to make sure that this handle doesn't get too close to no man's land where the laser tube's going to be. So let's go ahead and frame it up this time, see if it works. You can see that there's no possibility of a head strike there with the way that handle moves. And now that I've verified that my template's correct and I haven't made a mistake in my setup, I can go ahead and drive the laser back, set the origin, make sure that the rotary is in line with the gantry, and you should be able to go ahead and crank out your your uh, cups from there. As you can see this uh, layout, like I said, it takes a little bit. The, the trick of it all is to put that laser head over there for the first time, set an origin, verify that your uh, setup is correct, and that way, you, you, as many cups as I've done, if I would have just been on autopilot and, and pulled the trigger on the first time, um, you know, the uh, cup handle would have definitely struck the laser head, and that's something that we don't want to do. So it's just a good practice to get into. I hope this information was helpful, and as always, if you guys would please like and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate it. You guys have a great day.